Hello everybody, it's me Scooter with Alabama Diecast Racing and we just want to let you know we did make a video of our first Destruction Derby um, race. We had to do it in two parts and y'all it got a few times there were so many cars on the track we had to clear the track clear the track, put all the cars in the containers that's already went down and went again and um the video was almost between both videos is about five hours long um we ran into a few hiccups a few problems sometimes the camera would get knocked off a few times the fall and hit the floor we had a bunch of cars um get knocked off a lot of them were coming down some flew off the track and went flying behind the tv some um yeah, it was just crazy, y'all. It was our first instruction derby. We learned a lot. Um, we had to make it where if you ran off the track and, like, a lot of ours, people got eliminated because they ran off the track. Some um, got fell off the, went off the track, hit the floor, and landed on their roof, so they died. So we put them in our third round bucket there, and they won't be back until the third round. Um, our next race will be race until you lose and um, we're gonna do that one tomorrow when we get in from work and we're gonna be racing all the cars and the last two cars will be going on we are at 10 cars right now we got 10 more cars that have to earn a spot in the um, in the next race so we're looking forward to that. This ain't going to be a very long video. We just want to let you know that the Destruction Derby race, it, um, we had the camera facing that way on our Pringles chip. And, um, and it went, it went pretty good. But like I said, y'all, it took us around four or five hours for the last two, for it to get down the two cars. And, um, Tomorrow race is really going to be awesome, y'all. We're hoping that you'll enjoy the race until you lose one. Um, who do I think is going to eliminate the most cars? I couldn't really tell you at this time. Um, if I had to say anybody, it's going to probably be the art, the art car. It'll probably eliminate a few dozen. Um, well, what you do is we put you on the track. You go down the racetrack. You do the thing. And if you beat your opponent... Then we throw them in the loser box. We put you up there and you go again until you lose. Um, like I explained to all the cars, a lot of the cars did not, when we did the destruction derby, they did not want to go um, down forward. They wanted to go backwards. Some cars did because they said they didn't want to damage their engines. They rather, if any damage was done by them doing it, they wanted to do them as the back of their car, so a lot of them ran down it backwards and um, did the damage. We also had all our um, people watching the race um, sign a booty waiver so that way if their cars did get hit. And some of the racers used their cars, used some of the demo spectators' cars to keep from getting eliminated. That did happen a few times. Um, we tried to use the monster truck one time and it just didn't work out so they couldn't get enough speed coming down that hill so we just had to um when the track got too clear too crowded we just had to clear the whole track off we put them in a separate container and we raced the big container and we kept doing that until the big container got empty when we finally got the big container to empty and whatever we cleared off, we raced the clear off one, and um, we did that a few times. And finally, we got down to two cars. Um, I wish we could have used the monster trucks, but y'all, it was just impossible at this point. Um, it was a two-parter one, so um, I accidentally in the first video tripped over the wire and it came unplugged um, in the little extension cord thing, so. We went ahead and just made a two-parter one, so I gotta say there was a lot of wrecks, a lot of loud. You can hear the cars when they go, like when they're hitting up the cars, you hear a pow, 
and, it, and it's really loud and it was loud you'll you'll hear it in the video easily um but you know we show you the two winners and um like i said it was very destructive we had a lot of wrecks at times and the way the rules were um like you didn't want to get knocked off the track you didn't want to finish or go to the end of the track because if you went off to the end of the track and you fell off then you lost if you got to the end of the track and somebody hit you and bumped you and you went off the track you would be eliminated if you flipped and your wheels were all four your wheels was up in the air then um then you lost we had people landing side landing their car sideways so that two wheels would be up two wheels would be down and it would be hard for you to knock them off the track but people people were doing all sorts of stunts to keep from getting eliminated some of them would get hit and go flying and land on other cars or land on the track itself and be laying a long way on it people would try they did all sorts of stuff to try to eliminate each other and I gotta say some of it was pretty creative to a certain point some people down there where you go off that first turn people were wrecking right there or turning their cars sideways or blocking it so that you would have to literally either hit them and hope that you went over them and flipped it and landed or whatever it was it got at times i was like sitting there saying oh my god why are they doing this and then you think about it and you're like oh my okay okay I, this makes sense now but they were dirty they, they were pulling every trick out of their hat to eliminate people and you know we were going to go live but it's been storming outside and i didn't want to do be in the middle of a live broadcast and the power would blink and it would disconnect me but Tomorrow, y'all, um, we'll probably start doing our live interviews Monday. We're going to start going live next Monday. Um, but, yeah, it was just crazy, to say the least. And um, our next race is even going to be crazier because people are going to... It's going to be crazy because we have new cars mixed in with the old cars and they all got mixed up. Um, but yeah, y'all, we had to clean the track a few times because it got, people were doing, like there was a lot of cars on the track and it, some cars were, one time we just kept sending them and sending them and sending them and sending them and when they would get knocked out, finally a bunch of cars started flying off the tracks and <coughs> all that, but um, I told them tonight y'all need to do whatever you got to do to get your vehicles ready for in the morning for when we get off work because when we get off we're going to go and we're going to do the racing until you lose and make sure that you're, you put a new engine in your car that way or have an old engine have a new engine ready because like I said or put a new whole engine in all together because you're going to be going, 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 and there ain't no telling how many races you might be stuck running with. But everybody, I just want to let you know that both our videos are uploaded right now, and we hope that you enjoy watching all this construction and all the cars that was flipping and wrecking. Uh, like I said, I wish we had another six lanes so we could do that, so that would be, but each one is about eight foot long, and my room would have to be 16 foot long, and it is only like 13 or 14 feet long, so we couldn't have done it. Um, it was just, I don't fight, Richard. Oh, I apologize, y'all, I'm really tired. Um, that race was really a lot of work for just one person and it really was a lot of work for me um and one time i just propped up the camera and you could see down where they come around that turn turn and turn but um yeah everybody we're gonna we're gonna be in for a, a huge 
race tomorrow. I mean, everybody, the last two cars are going to be going at it hard. All these cars are going to be trying to eliminate as many other cars as they can, so that way they can be the last two. And um, a lot of it could come down to anything. Um, but yeah, we got a lot of cars, but... Um, like I say, we're going to go on Amazon here in a minute, and we're going to um, order some new ones. But, y'all, you know, this is just an update to let you know that they're uploading right now as we speak. Some of them might not be done because it was, every, I think it was like nearly five, six hours long on these two videos. Might be around five hours, uh, both videos combined. But, yeah, I'm telling you, y'all, there was cars flying off the track um we had about four or five flops table in on their roof and die and so they'll be out into the third round um the third round will be i'm hoping we'll have it sometime this week i'm hoping in a couple more days we'll be on the third round but it's just gonna really depend on um how things go like we're not doing one cars we're doing two cars now and um the last two cars will win and so it's so much easier to get through these round quicker so instead of just doing one we just say the last two cars are the winner but yeah um I can't wait to see who wins the second round? So, so so far, the top 20 is looking good. There's a few people that are really... The ambulance is trying to get back into the top 20 again. And I believe he should be able to do it in this race if he really concentrates and doesn't mess it up like he did today. Like the day he got put out, um, he, he got... He right, went off the track and he right. But, you know, how many ambulances do you ever see in a destruction derby? We called it destruction because really they kept knocking my damn um, scooter garage sign down. They kept flying and trying to hit my TV and all that over there. Um, yeah, there was a lot of destruction. A lot of cars got just, yeah, there, buddy. Oh, tired. I'm going to lay down into our next video. Y'all have a nice day.